Hey guys, this is Attack Strength Pier, and I'm here to tell you about four free programs that will help you create or edit your videos, and one that just, um, helped me with my internet experience. Um, they're all free, so, and I would recommend you get them if you want them. Um, the first one is Auto Screen Recorded 3.0 Free. It's by Wisdomsoft. It's, um, your basic screen recording. Um, you can just choose the area you want to record and record it. It's pretty good quality, about as good as Hypercam, maybe a little bit better. But it doesn't have a watermark. And so that will make your videos look better if you want to use it. The next one is Hypercam 2. Um, it's not quite as good as Auto Screen Recorder, in my opinion, because it's a little bit less quality, and it has the unregistered Hypercam watermark on it. Um, um, hyper it's by Hyperionics, and um, they finally got smart and deleted all of the keys that people were using from the internet and so most hypercams are unregistered now but um the only reason i'm mentioning this is because it's less laggy than camtasia or auto screen recorder for me so i use it to record faster games like stick arena um next is virtual dub it's um it's a video editor I don't really use it much except for this. I'm going to open a video file. Okay, I have a fraps clip up. Um this was just recording high detail in RuneScape. Um usually if you have a slow computer or well, if you just don't have a Vista and um you want to record a game or record RuneScape in high detail, you can't use screen recorders like Auto Screen Recorder, Hypercam 2, or Camtasia Studio, because you have to have hardware acceleration turned on for them, and you just can't do that without Vista. And if you want to record games or record in high detail, you have to use Fraps. It's not free, but um, it does record games and RuneScape pretty well. But one downside is the file sizes. Um, I have a seven second clip here, which is about 17 MB meg. Um, so I'll tell you how to compress this with virtual dub. You go to video compression and you choose a codec that works for you. I usually use Microsoft MPEG 4 video codec V3. You press configure and put the smoothness all the way down to zero. As far as I've been able to tell in video editing, this doesn't affect the quality at all. Um, you press OK, OK again. Go to File, Save as AVI. Save it wherever you want as a .avi file. And it will reduce this clip from 17 MB to 1 MB or less, probably. So that's really good if you use Fraps to record. Now, another program I use is Wax. Or, what I used to use is Wax. It's a free video editor. To get media from this, you, you click this Add Media Files button. And you just choose where they are at. I'm going to get this and this. Um, these are the two clips that I used for my one of my videos, um, green screening, saying what Camtasia did. So what you do is what you do is um get the one with the green background the video clip with the green background and put it on top here and get your set your background 
and put it out below that. And what you do is go to Video Plugins, Chroma Key, and drag it in between them. Press this arrow, and you can use the eyedropper here and select the color you want to disappear. Well, that didn't work very well. But as you can see, it took away most of the green around me. Um, oh, there we go. You can drag the tolerance bar and it will make more of the green disappear. And one thing I don't like about wax is I haven't been able to figure out how to um how to render your video as a dot avi or dot wmv um they're only wax files so what you have to do is get your screen recorder like hypercam or auto screen recorder and just record around this area and press play up here and it will record your video and you'll be able to green screen with that. The last thing I wanted to tell you about is Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. This has nothing to do with video editing at all, but it's just a really good anti-malware um, program. You can, like, a few days ago my internet was messed up and there was a virus or malware type thing on the my internet where pop-ups would keep coming up and I couldn't figure out how to stop them so you can just perform a quick scan with this and it will take about 8 to 10 minutes and you can just remove everything that it has on the list I think it um, infected about 81 files and it got rid of the virus or malware. So that's my tutorial on free. So that's my tutorial on free programs. I hope you enjoyed, and the links to all of these will be in the description. Bye.